Hello, my friends. It's Nina. Welcome back. Welcome to my very unorganized, messy desk area. Ah, uh, my joint cracked. Let me just take this off. This is my cushion. No, I don't even- now I'm too low for the frame. I'll just keep this here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> anyway, hello my friends, it's Nina and welcome to my workspace. As you read in the title of this video, I'm going to give my desk a bit of a makeover. It is not looking great right now. I work at my desk all the time. Most of my life, I am either sleeping. I sleep a good six to eight hours. These days are the last month or two I've been sleeping for maybe four to six hours. I need more sleep. But most of the time I'm either sleeping, eating, or working, or going to the bathroom. <laughs> so I really just wanted to make my workspace a little more comfortable, a little more organized, a little cuter, a little more enjoyable since I spend so much time here. So that's what we're going to do today. I got a lot of stuff. I've accumulated a bunch of items over the last few weeks and I'm just going to kind of change my desk up and it'll be fun, I hope. So I kind of have a vision, but I also don't know how it's actually going to look all together. The reason why I'm giving my desk a makeover is because I want this space to be more productive. I could be utilizing my small little desk a little bit better and I just want to feel inspired, creative, and just have a good time sitting here. Just recently I've been taking classes on productivity, motivation, inspiration, tuning into your creativity, and it kind of motivated me to give my desk a makeover. I've been taking these classes on Skillshare who also kindly sponsored this video, but basically Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like you and me. We can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get a lot and creativity. So I've been taking a class called Make Your Art Time Management for Creatives by Liz Brindley. I've been enjoying taking this course because it's making me ask why I want to create something, how I can use my time wisely and be motivated to create. And then it also shows me different methods to do so and I just love all the quotes that it has as well. So if you're bored and you're looking for something to do or you just want to find supportive, inspiring, encouraging communities with similar interests as you, then Skillshare is definitely the place for that. So actually the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium and Membership, and after that, it's only around $10 a month. I hope that you also get to use it. Maybe find some inspiration, learn something new, or tune into an old hobby or old interest. You can learn quite a lot on Skillshare. There are so many categories to choose from. There's photography, there's creative writing, there's illustration, classes on productivity, lifestyle. I think there's also marketing and business. You're definitely bound to find something you'll enjoy. But thank you to Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. I've taken a pretty good range of classes and I just hope that you enjoyed as well. But now I'm going to move on to the haul for my desk makeover. The things that I got are an accumulation of stuff that I've collected over the last few weeks, technically the last few months. So firstly, got some more LED lights. I'll also have everything that I bought linked down below. So I have a window. I have two windows actually. I put LED lights around the window. I'm going to see if I want to put more LED lights on my ceiling. Next I have two bags of things. I got myself a pair of scissors. I also have a decoration lamp. It's a heart-shaped lamp. How does this work? What is this? Mm. Mm. I'm just gonna place these in. Oh, it's already on. Ooh, I connected it. Oh my god. It's so cute. Whoa, hold on. And then you can turn it off. Nice. I love that. By the way, you don't need to buy new things to have a makeover. But I don't treat myself a lot, so I thought I deserved this. <laughs> I also got myself a desk organizer. I got myself this kind of see-through mesh organizer. Some post-its, these pastel post-its. I also got myself a little mouse pad. It has the anime Your Name on it. I've been getting into anime more recently and I watched this movie and I just thought it was cute. I think it goes well with my room as well. Speaking of which, I should show you some stuff that I got a month ago. But recently, I got myself this retro keyboard. I have been wanting a better set up for my laptop. I have a laptop. I also have a desktop but it's in the other room. But for my laptop I got this keyboard. It is a Mang BT21 keyboard. It's a wireless retro keyboard. It's purple. It's got a little Mang figure on the escape button. And along with that I got myself a mouse. Obviously I'm going to need a mouse to accompany my keyboard. This is a Sinda mouse. It's so comfortable. So comfortable. It has this blue green color. Also happens to go well with my room. And then the really cute thing about this I don't know if you can see it right now, but if we turn it on, it glows rainbow. <sighs> so cute, especially when it's dark. So it just keeps glowing. It eventually sleeps on its own, but it's so cute. So that's why I got 
a mouse pad. Along with this mouse pad, I do have an older mouse pad. I have this BTS Seasons Greeting mouse pad. I might put this one back in the other room just because it matches the aesthetic of my other room. And then another thing that I got that started this all is this sort of stand for my laptop. Basically, it gives my laptop a little height so that my eyes can kind of look up. But I have been enjoying this. I feel like it's better for my back. And then this is quite the purchase. I thought about getting this for literally months now. Even in 2020, I thought about getting it. I kept convincing myself that I don't need this, but I caved and I bought it. I got a CD player, ah. I know I have a CD player right here, but I wanted a newer one. I've had that since I was a kid. I kind of wanted to upgrade and so I got this little CD player. Next, I got myself a desk mirror. I think it's helpful to have a mirror on your desk if you want to check on yourself, if you're going on a Zoom call or you're about to have a meeting. It's a wooden frame one, so hopefully it'll go with my room. I have some wooden elements here and there. And then finally, what is this? Whoa, why is this so big? Ah, this is just a paper organizer. I'll open it later. It just stands on your desk and holds paper. I don't know if I'm actually going to use this because I don't know how much space I have on my desk. I'll figure it out. Actually, and a few more things that I got a while ago that I'll mention in this video. I got myself this tablet holder. It folds flat so you can stuff it in your backpack, your bag, you can make it a stand, and you can put your tablet on it. I have been drawing more recently so this has been very helpful. I think this is the last item. I got myself this little phone stand. Sometimes when I'm replying to emails, I need my phone on the side but I don't want to kind of look too hard at the screens, switch between the screens, so I got myself this little phone stand. Maybe if I ever want to go live on Instagram or something, or film a TikTok or something, I can just put my phone here just like this. So I have my phone here, got my laptop next to me, it's great. And that is it for this haul. Now it's time for the makeover. <laughs> so I think first things first, I'm going to kind of... I don't know where to start actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just realized I have to actually like clean up. Mm -hmm. Also, I swear my posture is not like this. I'm... I have a pretty good posture. Not really, but it's decent. It could be better though. I'm going to first remove stuff. I think that's the best way to go. Also right here, I used to have a cart that has a lot of stuff in it. I have to organize that because that also isn't utilizing the best space that it could. It's a dark green, gray kind of cart. It's actually outside of my room because I filmed right here. I'll bring that back, but not right now. I need as much space as possible. So I'm just going to kind of unclutter, declutter my coffee. Oh, I need a better system for my wires. Got my laptop charger. Yes, I am wearing pajamas. I have no other reason to be wearing other pants. And with this basket, I actually had this since I was a kid as well. I'm pretty good at keeping stuff for a really long time. It's one of my talents. If that's a talent, it's not really a talent. Very heavy. I finally removed my CD player. <laughs> I've got Map of the Soul 7 here. That's gonna go on my new CD player. Oh, it's very dusty. I'm gonna remove this. I need to organize this better. This is a lot of movement I'm doing. I haven't moved this much in a while. I have this watercolor palette. It is this nice blue color. I love how it goes with my room. Actually, it matches my mouse even more. <sighs> Wonderful. Taking off my laptop. My painting, I painted this. And I've got some electronics. My phone. Did anyone text me? No, of course not. Gonna put this aside as well. Just gonna wipe down my desk a little bit. Wipey wipe. My desk is nice and empty. That is the end of this video. <laughs> Now what? I think I'm going to set up my CD player. So here we are. Here is the CD player. It's so cute. It has this wire. It has a base. Got a remote. I think I have to put batteries in it. Yep, I don't have those batteries. And it does come with a mount. I'm gonna place it on my desk. I don't want it on my wall. Or else I have to rearrange the stuff on my wall. I don't feel like doing that. Nice. Now what? I don't want to break it. Let's read the manual. Ah, so it doesn't have instructions on how to use the mouth. <laughs> I'm sure there's a safe way to get this to... I feel like I'm gonna break it. Oh, hmm. 
That doesn't seem right. I think that is the best it's gonna work. So I almost broke the mount for no reason. Don't do that. Here is the little stand holds my CD player. So I have a different version of Map of the Soul 7. I'm gonna put my pink one. I think it matches my room. It's so cute. Ah. I put the blue one back in its place. Ah. There's my CD. I'm gonna plug this now. The rest of the stuff is for mounting on the wall. I'm not gonna mount it, so I'll keep this somewhere safe. Now I'm going to play my CD player. All you have to do is pull on the cord. It lights up. I didn't even know it lights up. The remote works. I put batteries in it. It's so cool! And then you just turn it off. That is so cool. Ah, so the CD player is finished. There we go. Next, I'm going to move on to this little desk mirror because I don't know where I'm going to place this. Actually, my painting. I think that looks nice in this little corner. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't know where to put it though. I'm gonna have to do some rearranging. Give me a second. I have a BTS Polaroid from their B album. I'm just going to place this just like that. Next, we have my organizer. I'm going to fill it up. What if I can't do that? <laughs> I've got my bullet journal. I'm gonna place it. Ouch. Oh, it's coming together. Here are my post-its. I'm gonna place them right here. My little phone stand right here. Time to put my computer and everything back here. Ah, it's so pretty. It is not done yet. I think I'm going to put some LED light strips up this way. So the light's kind of over here as well. So this is the setup for now. I'm going to see what else I can do. I have to bring my cart back in because I need more storage. I can't wait to see what this looks like at night. And then if I ever want to draw, I can put this away. Or if I ever need this space, I've got space here for my bullet journal. I can write my bullet journal here. Oh. Perfect. I cleaned up my little cart, removed a lot of stuff, stuff that I didn't need but was taking up space, and I reduced it to this. I just have my washi tapes down there. I've got my kalimba. Here, let me show you actually. I just want to show you my kalimba. <gasps> Beautiful. I got this for myself for Christmas. I don't remember what to play. I'm not musically inclined. <laughs> Anyway, that's supposed to be spring day. <laughs> that's my kalimba. So my kalimba's here. I have my little watercolor pad. And then I've got my watercolor palette, the basket. I'm too lazy to clean it out, but one day I will. And then here I've got my paper organizers. I don't really have a lot of paper yet, but I know I'm gonna need it in the future. For now, I have my notebook for studying Korean. Here's my microphone for editing videos. It's nice and convenient to have it here, away from my desk. And then I have my other markers and pens here. Well, I just found the best idea. So I put my card reader and my hard drive to the side next to my microphone. I thought that made more sense. And oh my goodness, my iPad. I don't know why this makes me so excited, but wow, I have a proper place for my iPad. And this can go right here. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but my iPad was just sitting on my bed. I was like, where am I going to put my iPad? Literally a perfect place. Wow, I can reach the ceiling, yay! I'm tired. <laughs> So 
so I ended up putting some LED lights up there. Provides a little more light. I didn't realize how short 16 feet is, so unfortunately it did end right here. In the future, I plan to put one more somewhere around there. It's probably gonna end like right there, which is unfortunate, but oh well. And if I don't plan to do anything, honestly, this is enough as well. I never realized this could be useful space, but now I'm thinking some posters up there would be really cute. Anyway, I put some more lights here. It kind of makes this area more separated, kind of gives like a feeling of its own separate space. And I really like that. But this is my finished workspace. I have literally everything I need right next to me. I have my little phone propped up. I have my little heart light. I have my cute CD player. I have my more ergonomic laptop space. I feel like everything goes together. I also decluttered, took out stuff I didn't need. Everything here is pretty useful and I'm happy about it. Got some markers here, some good pens, a pair of scissors, hand lotion, my earphones. I have a lip balm in there. And then in here, I've got my most used washi tapes. They also go with my room. Got my post-its, my bullet journal. I decided to place my painting here because the light was way too bright. I like that the LED light kind of glows behind it, as you can see with that purple light right there. And then I can move my keyboard away and use this space, plenty of space, for any other work. And then I can watch YouTube while I draw and stuff. Love it. That concludes this desk makeover. I am so happy with how everything turned out. I am much more excited to sit here and enjoy this. You definitely don't have to go all out and change absolutely everything, but I really wanted to just change things up, treat myself a little bit, so I went and did it. <laughs> I'm very excited to work here. I hope you enjoyed this video, had a good time, found something interesting or inspiring, or just enjoyed your time with me. <laughs> Thank you again to Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. As I mentioned, the first 1,000 people able to click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership, so take advantage of that. I am going to finally sign off, turn everything off. We're going to end it with a hug as always. Bring it in and goodbye my friends. Thank you for watching. I love you.